Holy moly. I haven't been in a store this packed since they released this fancy new invention called sliced bread. Of course, I never thought it would catch on, but hey, stranger things have happened. Well, it's the new Legend of Zelda. Of course, it's a big deal, Joe. Ah, yes, the Legend of Zelda, a classic game of adventure and exploration. I remember the first one where you played as a little paddle and you had to stop a white dot from getting past you. You're talking about you. Pong again, Joe. No, I, I remember quite clearly. It was called the Legend of Zelda. I guarantee you don't remember that. You're right, I don't. I can't believe they're giving out early copies to people who show up in costume. A whole 24 extra hours to save Hyrule. I'm so excited I might pee my pants. Please don't. Do you guys think they'd notice if I snuck a couple Fortnite gift cards into my pocket? Yes, Donald, I think they would notice if an ex-president of the United States started trying to take V-Bucks off the rack. Would you be quiet? I've already got like seven. Don't blow my cover. Uh, guys, uh, don't look now. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kennedy. Hey, Kennedy. You guys waiting in line for that new video game? My kids won't stop talking about it. Yep, we've been here for three hours. Well, how about that? See, I always thought video games were for the younger generation. You know, young kids who don't know how to read or get a job, not grown adults who have lives. But you fellas are trailblazers, eh? You guys prove that age is just a number. You say, it's my choice if I want to act like a child, and you're proud. Uh, how was your trip to Dallas? Oh, it was just amazing. Why, I made love too many times to count. Jesus. Cover your ears, George. It's important to stay hydrated when you're doing things like that. I almost had to go to the hospital because I had lost so much fluid. Uh, well, I'm sure you and Jackie had a nice time. Jackie ended up staying home. I'll see you fellas later. Enjoy your video games. I think he just pwned us, as the gamers say. Speak for yourself, Donald. Kennedy didn't bone me. Sounds like he boned everybody except his wife. I said pwned with a P. Of course you guys don't get it. You're not real gamers. I'm uncovering my ears now. We don't really act like kids, right guys? I can take the next customer here. Yippee, Legend of Zelda, here I come. Oh my God, we do. Hey guys, here for Legend of Zelda? You bet, how's my costume? A fellow Zelda fan, eh? I'm a fan of Majora's Mask myself. We are not the same, Truman. All right, I'll go grab a copy. A whole store dedicated to video games. Reminds me of the old penny arcade in our town. We used to get the ticker tape gang together and pay a nickel for a fella in a gorilla suit to chase us around in the dark. Those were our video games. Good times. You know, sometimes I genuinely feel sorry for you, Joe. Uh, guys, I've got some bad news. We're all out of stock for Zelda. Oh, good heavens, say it's not so. Oh, come on, you gotta have at least one copy left. Sorry, guys, somebody just bought the last copy. Well, who bought it? We could always steal, I mean, legally buy their copy from them. I'm sorry, but that's confidential information. Oh, come on, Truman, you could tell us. Aren't we your friends? Ha! How the tables turn. Suddenly, when there's something you want, you're all buddy-buddy. Well, I'll tell you, on the condition that if you do, you will let me join your group, and we get to go on one Truman-related adventure every month. Well, I guess if that's what we have to do. Looking for something, chumps? Dick Cheney, you bought the last copy? Oh, God damn it! I was so close! Indeed, I did. I paid several undercover operatives to purchase multiple copies of the game, so the only video game store located near your house would run out of stock before you could buy one. Why would you do that? Because I hate you with a burning passion, Bush Jr., and I hate your friends. Oh, I'm not their friend. They just hang around me. Maybe I could buy a copy from you? No, Donald. Damn it. Donald, you traitor. Listen, Dick, we're all adults here. Let's be reasonable about this. Oh, I'll be reasonable, all right. I've hidden three pieces of the game in places all around town. If you can retrieve them and bring them back to me, I'll give you your game. Mwahaha. Wait, that's not an evil plan. It sounds awesome. Yeah, that actually sounds really fun. It's like a real-life video game. It's not fun. It's vindictive and malicious. Believe me, I know vindictive and malicious. Giving us an epic quest is not vindictive and malicious. Yeah, Donald once lit some guy's car on fire because he sneezed without covering his mouth. I remember that. Actually, I was the one who sneezed, but I blamed him. Everybody shut up. This is totally evil. Just take this damn map, find the damn pieces. It says the first piece is at the top of Mount Trash Heap. That giant pile of garbage at the dump? You're joking. You're gonna go climb around on garbage? Kennedy was totally right. We're way too old for this crap. Oh, come on, Barack. You're the grounded one of the group. It'll throw off the whole dynamic if we're left to our own devices. Yeah, don't leave me to play the straight man. Of course, you wouldn't want that role, George. Oh, fine, I'll help. Just let me get one of the pieces that's not at the dump. All right, the map says there's another one at Zora's Domain. Those are the fish people from Zelda, so I guess that means you'll find it somewhere at the beach. Nerd. Wait, the beach? I want to get that one. Then we'll split up. 
Donald and Barack will go to the beach, and George and I will go to the dump. Yippee, the dump. Off we go on an adventure. Huzzah! Hey, bring those gift cards back, Donald. Eat my ass, Truman. Well, here we are, Mount Trash Heap. Hey, what's that at the top? <laughs> what the hell? He just threw some garbage at me. I see you've arrived at your first task, Bush Jr. If you desire your precious Legend of Zelda video game, then you must conquer a real-life Donkey Kong. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Wait, Donkey Kong isn't even from The Legend of Zelda? Uh, yes he is. I remember playing it on the Nintendo. Whatever, it's from a video game. How are we gonna get up there, George? We'll need to be careful, Joe. Behind every chimp's pleasant demeanor, there's a burning desire to take over the world of humans and become the apex primates. I saw a documentary on it. Hey, I could throw this banana up there as a peace offering. Here you go, little fella, a gift from one primate to another. Ooh. The little guy has a good arm. You ever think about playing baseball? Do you think we act too young for our age? I've been acting too young for my age for the past 10 years. I'm 76, you know. I'm only four years younger than Joe. I guess you're right. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm no spring chicken. Don't let my healthy sun-kissed complexion fool you. It didn't. Screw you. I see Bush Jr. sent Tweedledee and Tweedledumass to do his dirty work. Ha, he called you Tweedledumass, Barack. I'll have to remember that one. Note the shovels on the ground over there. If you want to find a piece of the video game, you must use those shovels to tunnel under the ground and find the game hidden somewhere beneath the sand, like the classic video game character Dig Dug. Dig Dug? That's not a character from Zelda. I know he's not from Zelda, damn it. Just find the piece. Hey, could we borrow that? I found it. I found the piece. Awesome work, Joe. Bring it back here. Nice throw, Mr. Kong. Make sure to extend your arm all the way when you release. Your idea to teach our little monkey friend how to play baseball was wonderful, George. Oh, sorry, our little ape friend. How do you think Donald and Barack are doing? Hey, losers, quit playing in the trash. Is that a chimpanzee wearing a baseball glove? Yep, he's supposed to be Donkey Kong. We used to do normal things. Well, 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 looks like you puny presidents have retrieved two of the three pieces of your video game, but the last one is right here. Prepare to take on the final boss, Bush Jr. That's right, it's me, Dick Cheney. What, you want me to fight you? Yes, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm not doing that, Cheney. Nonsense, of course you are. We're mortal enemies. I'll fight you, you brown-vested butter weasel. What the hell? You know, I can't help but think that all of this was a cry for help, Cheney. You set up these challenges not because you hate us, but because you envy our ability to foster our inner child and embrace the playful side of life. I thought earlier today, maybe we were too old to be getting into mischief like this. But I realized as I was walking along the beach with a metal detector we borrowed from Gerald Ford, trying to find a piece of a video game buried under the sand, that hanging out with my pals is what makes me happy. You don't have to hide your feelings behind a wall of anger. If you wanted to play the new Zelda with us, all you had to do was ask. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just insecure about my maturity. Is what I would say if I was a little dweeb? I'm gonna rip your head off, Bush Jr. Get over here. Ah, somebody help. <laughs> Donkey Kong, you saved me. What an arm on that guy, George. We totally need to get him on the Republican team for the next presidential baseball game. I'm sure he'll fit in great with your team, Donald. He definitely aligns with you politically. Yeah, well, when the inevitable ape uprising happens, at least they won't tax us to death. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, that's that, huh? We defeated Cheney, so let's play our game. Uh, actually, it turns out chopping a game into three pieces makes it impossible to play. Oh, you're kidding. So we don't even get to play it. Zelda's lame anyway. Let's redeem these Fortnite cards. You guys gotta help me. There's a mob of chimpanzees out there, and they're hunting people down with baseballs. The uprising has begun. I'm sorry, Kennedy, but aren't you a little old to be making up stories about baseball playing chimpanzees? Uh, yeah. Seems a little immature. What the hell are you talking about? Just let me in. Here, just give them some bananas, but make sure they all get one, or they'll be even angrier. There's like a hundred chimps out there, and you gave me three bananas. Jeez, I thought he'd never shut up. Now that's malicious and vindictive. Well done, Barack. Who wants to play some Pong? So who are we blaming for starting the monkey uprising? Let's just blame Truman. I second that motion. 
So does that mean no presidential baseball game?